this one's interesting. So, there was a shooting, a school shooting, another school shooting, with the suspect being Timothy Simpkins. So, allegedly, what happened, um, uh, so at, why, why can't I remember, hold on, should have this written down. Uh Okay. What the Okay, so as I was saying What at a North Texas high school, I think that might even be the name, North Texas High School, but I can't remember uh, Fort Worth. No, it's not Fort Worth High School. I'm trying. I can't remember the name, and then my thing's not working. Anyway, at this high school, school shooting, uh, Timothy Simpkins uh, was charged. He well, shooting happened. So let's just go down the story. So it's a day at this high school. Um, Apparently, there's this video that's out. I'm sure you've all seen it. I'll put it down here just in case you haven't. But it's a pic it's a video of the victim whose name is I'm calling him Zach, but I can't like uh I think it's Zachius Selby. Uh is um uh, uh, pretty much in a scuffle. Well not really a scuffle, he's Zach is working on Timothy. Timothy Simpkins, and they're, they're both fight, fighting, but uh, Tim's not really giving no offense, so what happened is, uh, according to witnesses, he goes to his orange backpack after it's like sort of broken up or, or whatever, and shoot, uh, decides to shoot Zach four times. He shoots him four times, uh, and he's in critical condition along with another male te teacher, 25 years old. And um, uh, the, there's a girl victim. She she was 15, I think, or a teen girl. That, that was, teen girl was injured during it. I, I don't believe she was shot. She was just, you know, uh, had to go to the hospital, but then was released. And uh, a pregnant woman uh, teacher during all the commotion, ended up falling over, didn't really go to the hospital, but I think she's fine, but still, there's four victims all together. Over this scuffle that nobody really knows why. I mean, well, there's some history behind but between them, but nobody really knows why this is happening at, at this time. So, uh, there's been, there's sort of two sides with, this scenario is a little weird because there's sort of two sides that people are going at each other at. One side is obviously, you know, blaming this kid who shot the victim, you know, shot Zach. And, and you know, he's a, obviously a terrible person. They sympathize with the victim. Shouldn't have been, you know, shooting a gun at school or, you know, shooting anybody. On the other side, shows the video of Zach beating the suspect, Tim, and pretty much saying that uh, Tim is not, is is the victim. Pretty much saying Tim is the victim, even though uh, Zach was the one who was shot. Now, they're saying this because they say that uh, he was bullied, he he was robbed, he, he got uh, stripped of you know, it's clothing. He has nice things. He has, you know, good car and people apparently bully him because of that reason. Now, uh, it's a few things that people are overlooking, but those are pretty much the two sides of, you know, what's, what's some, uh, you know, this whole little debate is like, it, it, it is, it's almost a debate because people don't know what side to choose. Now, uh, the reason this is so like sort of complicated is because there's a lot that goes into this. People look at it through different eyes and different ways. But 
Um, so I wanted to react to uh, pretty much uh, each family and what they're talking about uh, with um, both of their you know, sons in this little altercation, they're pretty much saying exactly what I said on each side, defending each other, saying each of them is the victim. Now, first, uh, this is the uh, uh, family of... Okay, this is the family of the suspects at Timberland, or Timberview. Timberview, that's, that's the name, but... I said Timberland, uh, but this, these are the victims. I mean, no, the sucks, the family of the suspects who are sort of defending him on TV, sort of like you see with every, you know, school shooting saying their son, but they're pretty much saying he's the victim. So let's play this. I'm not even going to uh, react to the video. I'm just going to play the um, audio and you guys can listen with me and just hear the, what they say. He was scared. He was afraid. There's a video that's all out on social media, and it shows that he was being attacked. It wasn't just one person that would attack him and bully him, taking his money, harassing him due to the fact because he had more things than maybe others. It takes us all. It takes us all to stand together about this bullying. It could have been a situation where he took the other turn and decided to commit suicide. What the decision that he made, taking the gun, we're not justifying that. That was not right. But he was trying to protect himself. And so we hope that the police department does the investigation properly. There are gonna be independent investigations that's gonna be done as well, so that we can get to the bottom of really what happened. Well, and you say that he was bullied, exactly because he had, clearly all have a little bit of money, you know what I mean? Like, because of money situation or what all are you saying that he was bullied about and how many times yeah, did y'all report one. that? Sorry, it's, it's messing up, but one second, it's going to resume in just a second. I guess before it you know resumes, I could talk to you a little bit about that first half. So he was bullied because he was rich and you know had nice things. That's crazy. That's just crazy. That's wild to me, only because like I've been bullied for a number of things all my life, whether I was fat, whether I was broke, whether this or that, whatever you can come up with. But being rich and having nice things, that's like Jesus. Like, I don't, like, I thought I was like the, I thought, you know, uh, maybe rich people, nice things, like, didn't go through that because I looked at them, I was, I was like, shit. Sometimes I was like, I wish I had what you had. But apparently, even rich kids are getting bullied. As shown, because, you know, I show the video, here's the video one more time of him getting beat up and, you know, not saying it's not true that, you know, he got robbed or whatever, but that's just crazy to me. The fact that someone can, you know, be bullied for having rich, thing, like, uh, for having, um, uh, you know what I mean? Rich, uh, no, for being rich and having nice things. Okay, it's not loading up. Let me resume here. Come on. Come on. One second, it's just gonna load up here. But I hope you guys understand what I mean when I say that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna resume here. Okay, so let's continue the conversation. Here we are. Sorry, the internet just cut out for a second.
Well, uh, due to the fact that they were blessed financially, and so he was able to, you know, get things maybe that other children could not get or teenagers could not have. And so because he wore nice clothes and because he drove nice cars and because he had the things, he was like a target, outgoing, loving person, uh, being that he's been around his grandmother, his loving uh, mother, uh, they taught him to love and, and he, was, he's, he, he was a giver, you know, uh, mostly like well like up until the point to where he got into his senior year and it really became, he was looking forward, he's looking forward to graduating and doing something with his life. What would you like to say to the victim's families at the same time? The victim's family, um, there is no justification of anybody who's being hurt. Um, we have to take a look at the fact that bullying is real and it takes us all. And I do apologize. We ask as a family for forgiveness of any type of hurt. It was never intention for it to go on like this. All right, so you heard that, and that's what sort of sparked this whole thing. The family saying that, saying that he was a nice person, or, or you know, pretty much just saying he's, um, you know, just not, he's the victim in the situation. Now, some people agreed, some people disagreed, because, you know, we got someone who is, you know, shot, the victim who is actually shot, actually hurt physically, then you, on the other side, you got to think about, you know, the concept of bullying and, and all that. Now, uh, like I said, I don't really want to, you know, judge the situation until we get, get into it. But in a way, it does seem like, you know, this is like, let's just say I've watched a few TV shows. So I don't know too much. But with the way, uh, uh, you know, lawyers, they sort of spin things and stuff like that, like. This could just all be a plot to get him to, um, uh, uh, you know, a plot to get him to uh, pretty much not get in as much trouble as he said. You know what I mean? Like, say it was like uh, to get a different charge, to get a different charge, not other than, you know, the one obviously shooting somebody. Now, the reason I think this is because... um. Just not saying this, these things they're saying aren't true, but there are, is some question questionable things that you know just come to mind when um uh, you think about you know we're defending the the suspect we're defending the suspect and you don't just like you don't just have a like you don't just have a gun. How did he get the gun? How did all this go down? How did he get in the school? There's so many questions, but let's listen to the what the um uh, uh before we get into you know the questionable behavior about him, let's go into what the victim's family said uh uh or interviewed about you know because you know it was their 15 year old old son. 15-year-old Zacchaeus Selby spent part of Friday in surgery. His mother is talking about his okay. long road to recovery. Doctors here at Medical City Arlington Hospital are keeping a close eye on the team. He has tubes in his throat, in his nose. He just lays there. Zacchaeus suffered four gunshot wounds in the shooting. This video, part of the police investigation, shows moments during a fight between Zacchaeus and the 18-year-old suspect. The suspect is wearing a white hoodie. Shortly after this video ends, police say the suspect shot Zacchaeus as paramedics brought him Zacchaeus, out of the that's high school. A Zach. And I ran Zacchaeus. to the and I grabbed his hand and he looked up and he said, I love you. And I said, I love you too. Police identified 18-year-old Timothy Simpkins as the shooter. He's out of jail on bond, but on home detention, facing aggravated assault charges. They're in the same class. Classmates is pretty much the extent of what Zacchaeus' mother knows about her son's accused shooter. Her family fears people seeing the video of the fight will get the wrong impression about the teenager. Uh, it's making him look like a monster. We've seen the video ourselves. We were shocked. He's a regular teenager. He's 15. You know, he's my baby. Mom mm. says Friday mm. surgery is just one of many here at Medical City. Family and friends hope this fundraiser will help with the mounting medical bills and healing. 
and after Friday's surgery. When he wakes up, any idea what you're going to say to I him? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him I, I, I'm gonna tell him I love him. In Arlington, I'm Scoop Jefferson. All right, so that was kind of a lot, but the they're, they're obviously showing, you know, sympathy or whatever. So I thought I'd dig a little deeper. I need to know, like, because both of them said that, they, you know, that their son was the victim. One of them is truly the victim, but both of them said their son is the victim. And like, uh, so I thought I looked like I, I legit <laughs> tried to look up and I found uh, Zaka. Zach, I can't think of, I, he, they just said it, they just said it, sorry, I was too busy listening to it, but I found Zach's uh, Instagram, let me set up the screen record so I can post it and show you guys, show you guys this real quick, hold on. Okay. All right. So here we go. We got Zach's Instagram. We I found it. I just found it looking at articles, reading, reading different things, and we're just gonna go through his post because you know if they're talking about him the way you know trying to portray the way he is, then we'll just see. Because they remember they use quotes like they're just normal kids normal teens or you know good kids but we gotta see for ourselves so this one i remember seeing uh so this is just his last post on instagram september 30th is when he posted this and if you look at the comments there's there's like over 800 comments and majority of them are just saying pretty much prayers for you Hope you recover, all that nonsense, but uh, not nonsense. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to say that. Like, wrong wording, not nonsense. It's pretty much just saying, but you guys know what I mean. Like, pr saying prayers to you. I hope you he heal all, all this important stuff as you'd expect to see. Now, let's say just normal picture. There's a yep, few other pictures. I mean, but so here's the caption uh, up on the screen. Go, scoop i don't know this street slang or i don't know if it's street slang or what we going this sounds like a lyric is that we gonna zap zap him like pikachu look look at these niz take a peek at you okay i feel like i've heard that before but then you get to this photo and it's a picture of him pretty much pretend like it's a it's a gun and you know and whoa Ho, 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 ho. We're going to get to this, but the car he's in front of is, wow, the car, well, I'm not sure if it's, okay, well, we're going to see, we're going to see, but that car is just looking familiar to me. I didn't realize I saw it the first time. So, yeah, so he's 15, and, you know, he's posting stuff like this. Now, let's, uh, how do we do this here? But if you, oh shit, sorry. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, it's not gonna let me show the comments, but I already looked at the comments and let's just say they are like, like uh, in a sense, really fucked up. Like, I mean, like they're, some people are saying some terrible things. Let's see if he. And look, see right here. By this person uh, says he was a bully. So like people are saying stuff like this in his on his Instagram and in the comment section saying that he's almost asked for it, saying he's a bully. Like like that first post, that first post was nothing but prayers and, you know, saying we hope you recover. But the rest of the post. People go on there saying pretty much uh, stuff like, um, uh, you know, he's a bully. He don't deserve, uh, or he sh he had it coming to him. 
and and you know you can tell they're different ones because th those ones are from like three or four days ago but the but the older comments because you know these posts are this old this is 35 weeks old but people are going on there and you know saying pretty much that he he's um uh, you know he was a bully he asked for it but they're on the other comments instead of the first one now admittingly like if you look at everything he's posting He's not exactly what you see as a good kid, as they said in the, I mean, maybe it's just stuff they don't know about. Maybe they don't know about this stuff. But as far as like parents, a lot of times the kid is different, like be doing different things that you don't think they, they'd be doing. Like, look, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Like a normal, you know, kid or what, I don't know, just wouldn't, to me, wouldn't, I don't see this as like a good normal kid or whatever. Does that take away? No, no, because he's he was shot. Nobody should be shot. But then again, nobody should be beat up either. Now, so went through that. I was going to show you more in-depth comments, but it was like really, really bad. Like people were saying some fucked up stuff, saying that he deserved it or whatever. And I, I don't like that. But so the family... Maybe they don't know. Maybe they do. Don't know about social media. But what this portrays is not exactly, you know, like the the good kid that they claim they are. But that's not the only thing. Because if you remember the. Um, uh, remember what I said about Mr. Uh, the suspect, uh, Timothy. So after seeing this stuff, I was like, okay, maybe Timothy got jumped, maybe he was bullied, but like that that family also said that he was like this good kid and should be, you know, uh, uh, you know, he's the victim in this. But something that a lot of people overlooked. I mean, there was this photo that was found. Uh, I'm gonna actually stop. There we go. Timothy Simpkins. So like there, there was this photo of Timothy inside that car. I just showed you that he was in front of like that guy who had the picture in front of like uh, Zach, when he was taking that picture in front of that car and I was like shocked. There's pictures of Timothy in that car with the gun in there and I'll pop it up on, on here because I can't find it right now. But there's an actual photo of Timothy flexing his car and the gun is right there. So I was just sitting there like thinking, hmm. Because his social media has been taken down, I believe. Timothy's social media has been taken down. But like he has the gun in his car on him all the time. And he's supposed to be like this, you know, good kid that they always, you know, they're trying to portray him to be. Even though he shot somebody. I mean, I don't think you're a good kid if after you... You, you know, shoot. I'm like, yes, that happened to you, but there's no reason to shoot anybody. You know what I'm saying? You know, you shouldn't have a gun in school. You know all this. And plus you've had the gun for quite a bit. But this is something that people overlooked a little bit when they say he's a good kid, say all that. Like, I never want to like, uh, you know, be a bully or anything, but. You know, the fact that, look at this picture. What do you see? Uh, hold on. Put this here. So this picture. What do you see? I see the mugshot. The mugshot that they took when they took him in. This is a new mugshot. He turned himself in three hours after uh, all this happened. And this is the mugshot they took. Now, what do you see here? That is also a mugshot, but it's a, yeah, it's, it's also Timothy Simpkins, but it's a mugshot that they put up that the uh, Arlington police put up when they said that he was a person in a uh, person of interest. Not that he turned himself in, not that he got arrested, not that any of this, but the fact that he was a person of 
interest. And this is a mugshot. The parents said that their son was the victim, saying that he was a good kid, saying that all, all this stuff about, you know, how he doesn't, he gets good grades, he was looking forward to graduating, he wasn't he, not really into trouble that much. But he has a previous mugshot. You know what I'm saying? Before any of this happened, he had a mugshot. He did something. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know if this is a fact, but I've heard he was, like, shooting at, at, um, uh, uh, I don't know if this is a fact. I'm not going to say anything because because I don't know if it's a fact or not. But, you know, I tried my best to look for the reason for this mugshot. But the fact that he has a mugshot and they tried to, you know, portray the suspect. And, of course, families do this. Families will do this. They did that with every other school shooter saying he didn't know what he was doing. He was just um, he, he was scared or whatever. But that's why it seems more and more like um uh, that, you know, his lawyers are trying to like spin it almost with the bullying con because, you know, it makes people think it makes people like, you know, they might ease up a little bit, but this guy's got a mugshot and you say he's, you know, a good kid, how he gets good grades, but he has a mugshot. This is just something I feel like everybody looked over and with the gun in the picture of the gun in the car and, and all this. And the fact that he lives at his grandma's. His mother, who was in, yeah, his mother was in prison at one point, and his father uh, was actually killed, beaten to death, and and which is not great, but his mother is the one who was on that, I pretty, yeah, was the one giving that interview. She was the one giving that interview saying how, how good he was, but she was in prison, and he lives with his grandmother. So not only, you know, uh, with... um. The victim, uh, Zach, I'm still calling him Zach, but uh, not only does, um, you know, how I said parents don't really know what be happening uh, to their kids at school or, or, you know, what they do outside of school, outside of home. They don't really be knowing like his mom don't even live at home. Like maybe he she just doesn't know. She don't know that he'd be doing the things that nobody really knows and you know, maybe it's how he deals with trauma or whatever, but I really don't think like it's tough, but let me say this. You now have shot in some two people you've, you know, also injured or sent to the hospital, another teen girl, and also have caused panic in tons of, uh, you know, parents and, and you know, families who are feared that, you know, that that their kid didn't make it in a school shooting. And so if that's who you were, that's not who you're, you are now. That That's all I'm going to say. If that's who you were, that's not who you are now. And if you're, you know, just, uh, you know, it's time you start to realize, stop trying to flip, flip it into, uh, um, you know, trying to make it seem like it was the victim's fault. Like you shot, you shot him four times. You shot him for like, and was he right to, to, um, uh, um, you know, beat you up or bully you or rob you or whatever. No, but you still like shot him for four times. And this is why it's so like, uh, hard to, Cue in on it because when something like this happens, everybody looks at it through different eyes. They be like, um, they look at it through the victim's eyes, and you know, has sympathy with the victim. They look at it through the, you know, suspect's eyes and be like, he was bullied. People look at it like, um, uh, what is the problem? Is the problem our schools? Is the problem the kids? Is the problem the parents not not teaching the kids? Is the problem like a you know, society is the problem, uh, have to do with, uh, generations. Like, cause a lot of the time they'd be like, uh, uh, people will say when they see things like this, like oh, only the kids are doing it. Like they're not really, uh, uh, we weren't really doing that back in our day. This is a, like that kind of problem. So it really comes down to what kind of problem, like is race involved? Because when it comes to a white, white guy 
who shoots up the entire school. Like race is always involved. You always hear that white guy, but here you didn't really hear too much of that. So uh, maybe we shouldn't be bringing race in this because there's a bigger issue than just, you know, race don't have to be with everything. But, you know, because at that time when there was a bunch of shooters and they were all white, they were just saying, oh, it's, you know, we raised our kids right there. Their minorities are good and maybe they are, but you know, th- it shows that this is, this can happen to anybody. So obviously the whole race thing should probably be put aside and like look deeper into what the actual issue is, because, you know, obviously, um, uh, race didn't really have too much to do with this one. Like, so, I mean, maybe if you dig a little deeper, you could find something with that has to do with race, but like, uh, this happening proves that this whole school shooting, school shooting, you know, I'm a not debate. I'm just a um, movement. It's not about race. And maybe you people are targeting the wrong things. Really? Wait, I don't know who Tram is. 